about radio. Hi guys, uh, I said my next video would be uh, probably be me taking the hammer to this uh, tele equipment scope. Uh, I've got the uh, circuit diagram for it, uh, so uh, there shouldn't be any reason to uh, not at least be able to find the fault, even if we can't fix it. And what I'm going to do is just have a good look around. Probably shouldn't be balancing it on the knobs there. Um, but it smelt like a selenium rectifier packing up. Um, if you know what that smells like, a metal rectifier. I've had a, a very good look around. I even got a little uh, uh, loop, uh, a little eyeglass. And uh, there's nothing obvious. I can't see a resistor uh, that's burnt um, or a capacitor. Um, uh, say I, I would have put money on finding a metal rectifier burnt out because it's just what it smells like. Uh, um, but there are no uh, there are no metal rectifiers in here. Um, although funnily enough, the, the rectifiers they identify them as uh, uh, MR um, six and things like that. In fact, this one is uh, identified as a um, MR6 and it's got some black bands and I thought ah that's that's burnt out but it, it looks as though it's got three black bands there and three red bands there so marking the uh, uh, the, uh, the anode and the cathode uh, there. Um, so um, I'm going to have a look uh, for test points and I, I always fall for this. Um, I've got a circuit diagram and uh, the circuit diagram came with the oscilloscope and uh, you know, you look at these things, uh, you never read the manual, and um, uh, oh, I've got a circuit diagram, I'm, I'm okay, uh, until you come to look at it and then you realise that it's such a, a rotten copy that you can't read the voltages. So you can see there, that's the box with the voltage in. Uh, this blue writing is somebody's been in there before me, and I guess if you've got any old bit of equipment, there's every chance someone's been there before but uh, somebody's written that on there and uh, that's the actual voltage that should be in the test box I guess that's what the guy found I don't know um, and uh, you, know, you can see the importance of this when you see uh, on uh, this box uh, the voltage is 1.8 kV so uh, you know you might be plodding around here thinking you've got 300 volts and uh, the other side of that capacitor you've got uh, 1.8 kV. What I didn't say was uh, the equipment hasn't blown any fuses. Uh, I lost the trace um, uh, on the scope. It, uh, it actually uh, produced um, uh, two little stripes down the bottom of the screen. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is identify the test points on here, they're numbered. And what I'm going to do is uh, start at the power supply. Um, the fact that I had that very distinct smell and I switched it off, there's every chance that uh, uh, whatever it was may start cooking again. So I think what I'll do in the first place, I'll leave the camera running when I first switch it on, but now I'm not going to record everything because I don't know if it's going to take me five minutes to fix or five hours. What I've decided to do is I'm going to switch it on um, before I start identifying all the test points and that because it might be needless. If it does start to smoke as soon as I switch it on um, I'll see that um, uh, quicker than I'll find something dabbing a meter around. Um, but what I have done is I put a little shorting stick on so as, uh, afterwards I can um, uh, discharge anything that might be charged. Just switch it on Okay, so I need to start uh, testing voltages, don't I? I'm going to switch it back on again and uh, just plug it in uh, and switch it back on. Um, because what I did do, um, I switched it off, left it for a little while and then went round and discharged things. And uh, I just want you to see um, uh, the point I was making about this uh, this discharging. So uh, 
let's say that's uh, that's established and uh, obviously whatever voltages are going to be generated are there and uh, so I'll switch it off unplug it because they are all in real time so um, just put this too close up and I'll switch some of these lights off I've got lights hanging from all over the place so as you can see so you can see that neons there and as I say this is the, the plug <laughs> um, so that little neon is uh, charged still so I don't know what that is but probably 90 volts uh, or maybe less than that across there um, but I'm sure it would surprise you um, so um, you could be forgiven for thinking that that's uh, that's discharged so uh, typically what I do is just uh, wait a little bit longer and uh, then go around with my little shorting stick and um, just so I hope I got that on the, the video I wasn't expecting that. I, I was going to touch. I was going to touch that one, but I touched that. So I say, um, whatever that voltage was, it would have been enough to give me a, a little tap. So I had somebody ask me um, what size uh, resistor that they should use, and I said, well, frankly, I don't care because um, the worst that can happen is you, you you destroy something on the printed circuit board or the the, the equipment. But if you get across uh, a high voltage, um, it could be, uh, you know, a bit surprising. But anyway, I just uh, I just wanted you to see that um, you know waiting a minute or twenty seconds is is not enough. Uh, it'll get you. And on a faulty piece of equipment, um, uh, it can be even worse because normally a, a, a radio or something like that will discharge um, on its own. But if it's faulty, uh, you can have a situation where capacitors get charged, but they don't get discharged. I've got uh, the AVO on the 3000 volt range. I'm expecting it to be about 1.8 uh, volts, uh, 1.8 kV. So that should come up to about there, uh, if there's any justice. Uh, DC, because um, it's after the rectifier. Um, Right, I'll plug it in and switch it on, and um, I guess it's got one of two chances. And uh, right, bon voyage. I've put the AVO onto the AC range, so 3000 volts AC. And I'm looking at the output of that rectifier and um, what I'm getting is uh, 1300 volts AC out of the rectifier and that ought to be DC um, so I think that uh, that rectifier is um, nothing more than a glorified resistor I've cut this uh, diode out of the circuit as uh, it seems to be acting like a resistor. The diode test facility on a meter like this is um, only produces very low voltage and uh, this thing, this uh, diode, is probably made up of a, well, uh, will be made up of a string of diodes and I'm going to be going in there and having a look. Uh, this meter the mega it produces 500 volts and uh, it's DC it's chopped but it's DC but uh, I'll show you uh, what I'm doing this is a, a little diode and you see it's clear that way no movement on the meter um, so I swap it around okay we'll go back just to show I haven't uh, wiped it out okay so that's what we expect from a diode um, uh, uh, 
that. You see that? It's, it's uh, the very fact that it's differing implies that something's uh, not right. So I expect there's some carbon in there, and I get the same on both things. I'm going to try and get the end cap off this uh, diode. I'll just zoom in. What I do is uh, ooh, I'm differing. I'm trying to work and <laughs> look through the camera. Um, I'll get some solder on there and hopefully oh man that smell that's put the other end in the vise but there's always more than one way to skin a cat Nope, we're not going to get it that way. Okay, I'll do it another way. I'll open it up uh, down its length. Man, it's not going to give up easily. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that. Man, I knew it was a rectifier. Let me zoom in. This is uh, a real nice close-up of the uh, that rectifier cartridge, and uh, look at that. That's one of those little um, uh, metal rectifiers, and you see how it's burnt there. I like to look at this because you know once I throw it away it's gone and that, that moment is lost forever um, and that's one of the nice things with YouTube you know they're, they're letting us share these things and uh, so when, when it's gone that's that spring uh, you know there'll be a time when you can't see this anymore <laughs> probably a good thing you know, one of the YouTubers made a comment on my previous video and he said that, uh, I think it was his boss or a good mate, that says, where there's smoke there's a lesson. And uh, isn't that true? Just look through my diode selection and uh, I've got these and that's a, uh, um, uh, a 1N4007 and uh, that's a, a, a thousand volt diode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bunch of those in series. I really don't care how many I put in series. To, um, uh, I'm only looking for 2,000 volts. That's the uh, little assembly in place. Right, here we go again. I've got the uh, meter onto uh, the uh, positive of the diodes there. We're expecting it to be um, uh, 1.8 kV DC, so that'll put it somewhere about here. Um, and uh, and no smoke please here we go that's on there hey look at that that's 2 kV it's just over 2 kV don't know if it's come down when the tube warms up oh that's good focus and there Okay, we've arrived. We're uh, uh, we're back to where we expect it to be. Well, the scope's back in the case now. Uh, it's been on for about an hour. Got it on the uh, little um, uh, decade counter. So uh, that all seems to be doing uh, what I'd expect it to do. Um, Uh, so I hope you found that interesting, um, I did, and thanks for watching, bye bye. Still makes me jump after all these years. <laughs>